Peter. Yes. Do you like my Navy hat? I love your Navy hat. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. It's me, Mikey Pipes. I found one in cold storage here. And I'm specifically wearing it to piss off those efforts over at South Korea. Red light camera reported ahead. And posting it on my YouTube channel that it's copyright infringement. And they're going to DCMA my ass. <laughs> they sent me these hats and I wear them. I should be burning them. Like I burn the ones I take off walls and install Bosch's or Lock and Vars for. Wall hung junk, Navian. You should be ashamed of yourself selling that junk. Oh. Their fire tubes, though, are kind of nice, but yeah. only time will tell. It's only a matter of time before they stop dropping like flies, too, in my opinion. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, guys, we're heading over to King's Point. King's Point, that's where the Taj Mahals are. Multi, multi, multi million dollar states, compounds. Guy's got a Kohler shower body that's on the fritz. It's on the fritz. It's leaking. And we, we already replaced the cartridge twice. And the guy's fed up. He goes, listen, just take out the whole shower body and put a new one in. I was like, all right. But he only wanted me, Mikey Pipes, to come. So we're going to go do that. So stay tuned. Smash that thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe. Do it now. All right. Let me show you what we're working with. We're not working with the working light, though, that's for sure. All right. This shower body drips continuously. All right. All right. And we've already replaced the cartridge inside here and the components several times. off and we are going to try to take out the shower body from the other side okay i got my fine the oscillating tools thing is awesome by the way i bought this thing for uh to trim some hardwood around my uh, uh around my house where the pex comes up the floor to feed my rental baseboards this thing is amazing i've used it on a couple jobs and really makes a nice clean cut minimal dust all right here's the back side of the shower body I had peter replaced um not replaced take off the white plastic shroud around there the water's off we're going to um open up the the shower body on the side get any water out of it and then we're going to cut here cut here i'm going to cut this brass nipple out and we're going to replace that we didn't drain out the valve so let's just use Looks like we're pretty empty, huh? Oh my God, it's snowing out. See that? Look at that Taj Mahal. I can't believe it's snowing out. I don't know, we'll see if this bad boy comes out. All right, I used my Milwaukee M18 grinder, angle grinder, and I cut out a piece of the pipe. Ooh, got some of the door rock too though. All right, so now we're gonna, see, we're loose now. We're gonna take this out, take this out, cut here and cut here, and I'll try to get the shower body out of here. All right, I use my rigid pipe cutter that I use for my PVC. It does up to, a, one and three eighths OD. I wasn't getting that in there, so very carefully I used my oscillating tool and cut the, the pecs there. We're gonna be careful when we uh, put this back together to make sure not getting any of that debris lodged into the shower body. Let's see if this is gonna cooperate. Probably not. <laughs> All in a day's work. You know this ain't coming out easy. All right, we pulled the guts out of it and it came out of the hole. Now, we have to replace this. Let's take a look at what they use here. We had a three-quarter inch brass nipple that connected the 
thermostatic valve to the transfer valve, all right, diverter, we have a three quarter inch, three quarter inch? No, yeah, three quarter inch street brass 90 there. And we have a three quarter inch uh, expansion packs male adapter on both sides. If you notice, they're using the, the Upanor expansion packs, three quarter, this is red and that's blue. If you uh, Google Upanor expansion packs, and then the, the infamous keyword at the end, the lawsuit, you will see that a party is suing them on their proposed class action status because the part of the manufacturing, when they put the pipe, the PEX, into the, the furnace to bake on that color, uh, it degrades the exterior of the tubing. That's Again, that's what they're alleging, and I hope that's not the case, but I do know that they discontinued the use of that, and now they don't use you know, red and blue, the, the lettering on the PEX is the, is red and blue, not the PEX in itself. All right, enough of that. Now, let's get to work. All right, let's head over to the truck to get the expansion tool. Yeah, F you, Koi Dong, Koi Dong. I'm gonna vandalize my vehicle, my fine German engineering, my Mercedes Sprinter. All right. Let's find what we need. Number one, the expansion tool is in there, right, Peter? Mm -hmm. And I am going to find which PEX tray has my expansion fittings. Half a two, three quarter couplings. All right, so in theory, that's going to go right back where it came from. And we're going to get, oh, I don't know how we're going to do that, though. The uh, Can I make this connection? You know what? Where there's a will, there's a way. All right, Peter Pan? All right, I'm gonna put one here. You know, maybe I should just solder it and make a slip coupling. All right, one goes there, one goes there. Yeah. Hmm. I think we're better with copper there, straight copper. These, are, we have to use expansion uh, couplings, right? But here, here we gotta do something else. We can't use the pecs. All right, let's make this connections here and then we'll figure it out. Let's put a coupling there. We'll get my expansion tool. Where's the expansion tool? Oh, there it is. Battery's dead. Peter Pan, see? Ah, oh, uncut, unedited, raw. Raw, ladies and gentlemen, raw. Something's not right here. I think I'm hitting. It's too, too, too thin? Yeah. This is a problem. Okay. It's always about feeding the people. Damn. So, that's where it was, right? And I'm up in there. I went in there with any lube. And now I gotta cut her out. <laughs> oh man, which means I'm gonna have the same problem on the other side. All right, let's get the grinder out and try to cut this male adapter out and hopefully didn't destroy the machine. Are you ready for the moment of truth? Yes. Team Red, baby! Team oh. Red! Team Red! <laughs> All right. I split, it's like a cutaway now. You have a cutaway of a brass male adapter. Pretty cool, no? Nice. All right, so I figured I'm not gonna use PEX on the riser 
So we replaced both male adapters there and I'm still warm from the grinder, by the way. Well, Mongo guys, Mongo. By the way, this thing, this thing weighs a good like six pounds. Solid brass. All right, it's got the stop on the, the stops, the valves on the hot and cold side. It's very nice. All right, turn that and it closes the valve. It's strange though that I don't see any imperfections with this valve, with the, sorry, with the shot, with this body itself where it would still let water pass through and not turn off completely. So I'm a little skeptical that this is even gonna work, but we'll see what happens, guys. All right, let me show you what we did. I got lost in thought. We have a three-quarter brass Upanor coupling there. And above, we have the three-quarter male adapter by expansion. Same thing on the other side. I broke out my torch, my solder box, and I have a three quarter inch sweat male adapter on top and bottom. I used my, where is it? Wet rag. All right, to protect the threads, the, the Teflon tape, the Blue Monster. And Peter is affixing the trim, the plastic shroud around the shower body on the finished side of the wall. And then we're gonna pressurize and hopefully God willing, no leaks. <laughs> well, we don't drink wine. Really? Hopefully, hopefully this stops. I was in the Costco. And so, what do you think, Peter? I think we did. Good. I mean, it's, it's fixed. It's, not it's like fixed. It and we opened up that wall there. We had to uh, open it up a little bit bigger than it was planned, but. I have a stud here. I'm probably gonna wanna cut to here and go to this stud there and you know, that way, you know, they, it's nice and neat. Or just put a piece of poster over it like this right here, you know? It fits perfectly, you know? Yep. So let's go see the other side. And she's nicey nice. Look at that. Look at the snow. It's snowing, ladies and gentlemen. I just called the wife and have her had her turn the snow melt system on. Uh oh. Hopefully that stops. Hopefully that stops. That would suck. All right. So I want to show you the sh model of shower body for for, for for your own reference. It's the right temp high flow valve. It's the model twenty nine seventy one dash KS dash NA. See that. And what's very strange about this shower body is that <clears throat> about almost a year ago, we changed the two components of this that could be changed, which is that the piece inside, right? I forgot what it's called. And you know what? Even Cola doesn't call it anything. They call it the valve assembly. But that piece right there, that... Dead center screen, that is inside the body itself. This piece is what parts of it stick out, but we changed those two components three times. Three times? We changed it three times, didn't we? This time. Because remember the first time yeah. we got the parts from the supply house and they were expensive. Mm -hmm. And then it happened again like a few months later, and then Kohler sent the parts, right? And then, like, and then, it, and then it, came, it started leaking again. And then we bitched the complaint to Kohler, and then they sent the whole body. And we took those parts out of the body because I said, "Listen, there's nothing wrong with the body." Yeah, technically, you could say you you probably you probably had five visits on this piece. Like I know it's annoying, <laughs> very very annoying. But we got it done, and Kohler, not bad. They sent the parts to the homeowner. Homeowner thought to pay for labor, basically an arm, and a leg, yeah. <laughs> and a kitty, <laughs> you know, and a bottle of a good bottle of something. But nonetheless, we got it done. Nice and clean. We'll clean up, vacuum up. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button and subscribe. Say my command Z to do it now. Now.